All right, welcome back inside the Lexus Lounge and Senators All Access. Gord Wilson here following this 3-2 overtime loss to the Anaheim Ducks. In just a moment, we'll be joined by Senator Setter Chris Tierney. Please stay with us. All right, as promised, uh, welcome back, everybody. Joined by Chris Tierney. Thanks for doing this, young man. Appreciate it. Are you getting a little tired of overtime here and uh, the end results? Um, a little bit. You know, obviously, yeah. you want to win those ones when you're trying to get the extra point. And Hoggy's been, you know, feels like he's been on the other side of them too much lately. He's been playing great, so we've got to find a way to get him uh, some wins here. Yeah, got a feel for him because he's played very, very well. Uh, what are you seeing from the young goaltender that's uh, providing the confidence in goal that can spread throughout the rest of the team? Yeah, he's um, he's a big guy and he moves well. Um, sometimes you think uh, you know they have it back door and they got a wide open net and he comes out of nowhere to make some big saves and gives us some momentum. So um, he's been playing great and definitely a reason why uh, we're going in so many overtimes sometimes. All, all happens on the practice ice. What kind of goalie is he to practice against? Because when we watch him from up in the stands, um, it's uh, he's just relentless. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's tough for sure. Yeah. Um, he he competes every day, every time he's in the net. So, um, you know, the same worth ethic you see uh, in games is the same he has in practice. So, um, you know, he's going to be a, a good goalie for a long time. Uh, Do you like the game tonight from your team? Uh, I thought we played uh, pretty well for the most part. The better um, as it went on. Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. I think um, you know we came out and um, you know I think we should have shot a couple more pucks than uh, we would have liked to, but. Um, you know, I thought we were on him at good parts of the game and we were trying to create chances. Um, you know, probably have to get in Gibson in front of his eyes a little more and, and screen him. He's a good goalie, but, um, you know, I thought we, we did enough to get there, but, uh, you know, just a little more push to get the win. Uh, seeing a little sample of your work, Chris, I think you were 64% in the faceoff circle. You're well over 50% uh, just about all season long here now. You're taking pride in faceoffs, and I know I, I watched you guys work on it in practice the other day here. You spend a lot of time at that craft, don't you? Yeah, um, it's a big part of the game, especially now. Um, puck possession so key in this game, and starting with uh, the puck off face-offs is, is going to lead to that. So um, it's something that uh, we've been working on this year and that we're trying to get better at every day. Fun, good inner competition as well because, you know, there are some of the guys that are 52, 53%. <clears throat> Yeah, for sure. Um, we got a lot of good centermen on our team, and um, you know, uh, some guys are hot certain nights, and uh, you kind of rally behind them and, and let them go in there and take the big draws. So um, it's fun to see uh, you know each other do well and then try to push each other in practice. We talk about puck possession being a key. Uh, special teams can be a real key as well, including the penalty kill. And yours is in the middle of the pack as far as uh, production is concerned, success production is concerned. Uh, lead the league in shorthanded goals with a dozen. Uh, and you lead the league with four individually here. What's, uh, I think you have, uh, I think you have eight. Do you have eight shorties uh, over the course of your career? Uh, I, 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 I wouldn't know. If, yeah, wouldn't okay. Know anyway, that. four this year to lead the league, which mm -hmm. is uh, spectacular. Congratulations on that. What's making that so successful? Um, you know, I think we just know what we're doing every time we go out there. Uh, we're usually with the same pairs, and um, it's usually me and Brown out there, and then Pajot and uh, Nemesnikov or Duclair. So uh, you get comfortable with certain guys, and you kind of know their tendencies. And I think we try to be aggressive when we see openings and, and maybe try to catch the power play sleeping a little bit. Has that been a key to the power play success in general? general just as a team the the more aggressive style that you're playing I think so um, you know if we see loose pucks and you know in our end or their end we're going to try to jump on them and, and take it away uh, it seems when you give good power plays time they they seem to hurt you and that's when they score goals so we're trying to take a, away as much time as possible and that uh, leads to us uh, getting poke checks and going the other way with it there comes a little shorty right there lip of the crease nice little tap in go to the net good things happen uh, I want to shift gears here because good things have happened to you uh, in the month of January I think you scored six goals in January and um, interestingly enough those six goals come on the heels of a pretty fun video that was put out by the hockey team um, it was a Dylan DeMello production uh, second year in a row that Director Dylan has come through with this. This was the ghost of Christmas past, or Christmas pass, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps. Uh, I think we have a little clip of this here, and we're going to turn up the audio in the room here. Christmas uh, pass. Okay. And action. Get pucks deep. Wow, what else? You've got to pass to Tierney more. Uh, I don't over see that on there. Is this a little ad lib? <laughs> <laughs> was that a little ad lib? Yeah, I you think, deviated uh, from the script. 
Yeah, no, that was on there for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. that's uh, Demello yeah. put that on there because he wanted to <laughs> obviously feed me. But um, no, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, the guys have been making some good passes lately, and um, I think that was on it there. Demello actually made a great one the other game. Um, Duke made a couple nice ones to me, so um, yeah, I guess a little uh, foreshadowing there. Okay, foreshadowing indeed, and I think we have all six of your goals here. Um, you're a pass-first guy, though, are you not? Um, Would you like to? Yeah, think so, I mean, or? I'd probably say so, but uh, I think uh, the goal is to get me to try to shoot more. So don't uh, don't tell the coaches. No, that. okay, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. But obviously, you feel comfortable around the net, and uh, mm -hmm. with ten so far this season, including six, you're hoping that uh, everything. Uh, keeps going for you. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it was a good month and just try to shoot the puck a little bit more. Um, you did a, a function last night that I want to talk to you about, the dog rescue at uh, Whalesbone on Elgin Street. It was called Freedom Dog Rescue. Uh, it had a fundraising dinner and part of that was organized by your girlfriend, Olivia. Tell us a little bit about that because I think we do have some, uh, some still, oh, a little bit of video from it. Yeah, um, it was an event that um, uh, some people put on last year, I think uh, Mark Stone's girlfriend and uh, Bodker's oh, wife. Lucky. So yes. yeah, if you take a look, the puppies are pretty cute. So um, they're all, all those the puppies were and dogs were up for adoption, and it's for a great cause. I think they raised around thirty-four thousand dollars really? last night. So oh, the event went job. really well, and um, yeah, really proud of her and um, my girlfriend and the, the event she put on. Uh, Olivia has been uh, involved with the community uh, quite a bit uh, since coming over uh, with you, obviously. Uh, Co-organizing the shoebox project for the Senators' Wives and Girlfriends uh, with Jess DeMello. Uh, she's obviously um, uh, loving the opportunity to, to get involved in the community. Yeah, um, you know, she's loving being in Ottawa and um, it's nice to be back in a Canadian city, Canadian market. Um, everybody's been really friendly and um, I think one thing we really know is coming to Ottawa is how much charity work the centers do. So um, she's really got involved in that nice and um, there's a, a ton of, of the girlfriends and wives that do a lot of charity work. So it's great to see. Uh, I think she was also helping out with this Bayshore gift wrapping for the foundation. Yeah. So. Uh well done, Olivia. Good stuff. Congratulations on uh, your success so far and uh, continued success, young man. A quick thought on Colorado. You're going to be in tough against a pretty hot Avalanche team. Yeah, um, you know, their top line's pretty elite. Uh, Nathan McKinnon, uh, Rantanen, Landis Cog, they got some, uh, you know, really high-end skill and, um, you know, we got to be ready to go because if you're not playing good defense and you're not, um, you're working above them, they're going to, you know, put up a big spot on you. So um, just try to get ready for the next game. All right, Chris, thanks for this. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Tierney, everybody. All right, that'll do it for this edition of Senators All Access Live. Our next show comes up following Ottawa's next home game, which is Thursday when the Avalanche come to town. I'm Gord Wilson. We'll see you then. Excellent.